Jan Brins is a partner at Guidehouse, a globe-circling consultancy. The general view of this conference is that we're going to make carbon neutrality by the middle of the century. I think uh, we have to make it happen. Uh, there's no real choice. Um, and I actually think that we have the mechanisms uh, in place to a great extent. Um, I think we have international uh, as well as you know, support at the federal level to make this happen. Uh, I think there's a lot of um, uh, uh, commitment uh, also with large corporations uh, and then obviously the utilities as well. Um, I do think that uh, we're not moving fast enough um, and we need to stop you know, coming up with all sorts of excuses why we cannot you know, move uh, at the pace that we need to move. Um, I hear a lot of people saying, well, you know, we, we're not going to be able to produce those electric vehicles that we need. Well, I think the, the car manufacturers will produce uh, the, those vehicles. I, I predicted a tipping point seven years ago where, you know, Tesla would build 500,000 electric vehicles a year. They, they reached that point a year earlier than they, they planned. And I think the other car manufacturers will do the same. Um, the other excuse that I hear is, oh, you know, the regulators, you know, don't support, you know, uh, some of the energy transition plans and investments that need to be made. Um, well, I think if customers want it, um, uh, the government wants it, the world needs it, then I think utilities have the responsibility to push through those, those obstacles and, and make it happen. The grid has become so much different than in the past, uh, where you had you know, central station generation, transmission, distribution. If you continue to look at the grid that way, you will never come to the conclusion that there, is, there will be enough electricity. The grid now is an energy cloud, where energy gets produced you know, still with some large power plants, um, but also locally, and, and, and the impact of distributed energy resources and the, 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 the ability to generate electricity closer to the source are endless, uh, and, and the technologies that exist. So now it's a matter of you know, actually you know, supporting these programs where you know, energy doesn't only get generated in, you know, in our, you know, through, through wind or, or, or solar or, or hydro or nuclear, which we still need, by the way, but also at the edge of the grid, and that's going to create um, uh, uh, the, the, the supply that we need. And then the second part of that story is, is that manage the grid as, as, as one. Um, uh, meaning that you know, use the electricity smart at the right time, produce electricity uh, uh, smart, and, and you know, technology will help do, uh, do that for us as well. Jan, that was stimulating. Thank you so much for coming on the broadcast. You're welcome, and uh, looking forward to, uh, to the next one.